Hello and welcome to this continuation of the pickup tutorial where we will add interaction between blueprints. Right now I'm gonna show a video of the finished project, well the finished product of this session and what we will do is make a character, be able to pick up these objects and have some code run in it so we can add a coin or maybe add some help. Now we're gonna use interfaces for this I'm gonna try it, uh, try to explain it as simple as possible, but the main thing is to have it working. If we want to delve into details, we will be releasing a blueprint course where we will have more time to talk in depth about it. So let's get to it. I do not have a character in this project. So let's add a character, add, add feature or content pack. And I will be using this third person character add to project now now that is added i can go to my world settings and I, I i want to save the map first let's save it let's go to pick up here let's new folder maps and let's add it here my m test map save okay so now in the world settings i can override the game mode and use my third person game mode now if i press play i will have a character that can pick pick up these objects right because the same logic is working if something overlaps it then it will be destroyed or play the sound and then be destroyed right so we want to know the what would happen if i pick up some of these items right this is a bp pickup let me replace it by my uh, child blueprint that i created last time the bp health let's put it here right so now what we will do is just get some basics out of out of the way so for bl for blueprints to interact with each other we need a, a sender and we need a receiver someone sends a signal and the receiver interprets it well first it gets it then interprets it and then uh, it can respond in any way that you want right in my case my blueprint will send a signal that it has been picked up and it will tell my player that it has picked up that type of blueprint so for example if i wanted to know which actor has been has picked up my my pickup i could go to my base pickup here and I, i'm gonna remove it remove the heart because it's, it it's making it hard for me to see which one is uh, the base. Right, so my health blueprint has the heart static mesh, my coin blueprint has my coin mesh, and my base pickup won't have anything, which is fine because I don't want anyone to use the base pickup. I just want to create another child and then give it uh, any type of, of, of behavior or mesh. Right, so here in my begin overlap, I can right click and press on toggle breakpoint. This will mean that whenever we press play and let me use the new editor window, if I pick up something and nothing happened, nothing happened there also, which is weird because this code is uh, running. Let me select, for example, the coin, I'm gonna press play, I'm gonna select the coin and now my breakpoint triggers. With this, I can press a step over to go to the next execution and I can put my mouse on top of any pin I, I want or well, any pin that it's from this point backwards in the execution line. So if I put my mouse on top, then it says that the other actor, the actor that has picked up this, this pickup is a third person character. So now this pickup has a reference, this is a reference, object actor reference, to the other blueprints we want to send information. So this will be the sender and my third person character will be the receiver. Nice. So the thing about these two pickups is that they're somewhat different. One gives health, and one gives money, right? So we can't treat them the same. We could create here 
uh, maybe an event dispatcher, maybe a function, uh, know if it has been picked up or whatever. But what we will do, oh, we will create like a function that can be overridden by my child blueprints. So here I'm going to add a, another node and here insert the execution pin before I'm going to send, I'm going to call a function that I'm going to create right now called pick up. This picked up needs to have an actor that has picked up this item and this item is going to be an actor. Why an actor? Because really will give us a lot of freedom. Here, this is another actor, so it will work that way. And I'm going to call it exactly the same. Other actor? No, maybe not. Actor that picked me up. There it, there it is. Let's save it, compile it. And I'm going to call, call this function like this. The actor will be this other actor. And I can remove this breakpoint. Now, what would I do if I want to add some health or if I, I want to add some coin? If we took like an approach uh, using casting, some direct communications of, of blueprints, then I would need to ask if this class, like do something like this, this. And now here I should need to cast it to coin. And if it's true, then add some coins. And if it's false, then I ne would need to cast to health and do something like this, something like this. Now, this is not really that useful because if I added, I don't know, maybe 10 pickups more, uh, more to, my, to my project, then I would need to cast like 10, 12 times. And it's not really feasible. We don't really want to re uh, copy too much of the code. We just need, want to do it once and be done with it. So we will use this picked up function that it it's fine if it's blank here because what we will do is in the coin here we can override it and uh, where is it Pick, picked up here it is. We don't really need any code of the parent and we here can call something to add some coins or to uh, modify something and the same can be done for the health here in my functions, override it and pick it up. Now this is where my interfaces enter in, in play. We want to add some coins, we want to add some health. Let's create an interface to be able to do that. Because I don't really want to, let's open my third person character. I don't really want to add like too much code here because if I added here a function called add coins and here I'm gonna print, uh, let's call it hello. If I did that, then here in my coins, the actor, I would need to do a cast to third person character. And here I would need to add some coins, something like this. But what would happen if I had more than one character? And you can do some parenting here to just cast to the base class and you can, you will be able to use these coins, but you, you're still referencing an, a specific asset. And if for some reason we want to change it later, it will be really hard. What we will do is create an interface in my pickup class, well, my pickup folder, right click, blueprints, interfaces, and then call it blueprint interface underscore pickup actions. Now here will be um, add health and add points. Add health, we should know how, how much health we're adding that this is going to be a float for now. So let's call it health to add. And the same with coins. Coins, I don't want to be one. I don't want it to be a decimal. So I'm going to use an integer. So you can earn like one and a half coin. And here will, it will be called coins to add. Now with this in mind, 
let's save it. Uh, it's a good idea for these functions to give it a category, like something like pickup. And the same for this one. Save it, compile it. And now in each pickup, here in my picked up function that will be called from my parent blueprint here, pick up, picked up, in my coin one, I'm gonna call on the actor that has picked up this pickup. I'm gonna call add coins. Coins to add, this should probably be a variable. Coins, yeah, coins to add should be fine. I'm gonna delete all the spaces because that's what my my programmer instincts tell me to do. And I'm gonna give it, I don't know, maybe one coin. Save, compile, and the health, instead of adding coins, this will add health. How many health I want to add? Yeah, this should be also a variable. And I'm gonna delete the space because that's just how I want it to be. So now, save it, compile. My, my pickups will keep working like they do, but they are not, they are sending a message, all right? They, they are adding coins and they are health, adding health, but we need to tell the, the blueprint that is receiving the me message to do something with that signal. So here, because we are using interfaces, third person character, uh, I, I do, did not want to do a function here because I'm using interfaces for that. So we need to in implement this interface. Here in interfaces, class settings, interfaces, let's add my pickup interface, pickup actions. Now that we have added it, let's compile, save it. And here in interfaces, I can use the drop down and select any of these ones and just right click it and implement the event. In my case, I, I'm gonna just um, do a debug screen here, print screen, coins to add, uh, I'm gonna append, gonna connect it like this and my A value will be pick up space coin. Or, or well we can do something like that pick up the number coins and let's let's be sure that we are giving enough space for this yeah that's right and for the health would be something pretty similar right click implement the event and just copy and paste this we can delete this and region or um, we can call the number first number and just then say health added that should be fine and let let me delete this c value remove the pin and do something like this so now even though i have two pickups that are being controlled by the same base pickup they are doing two different things let's save it let's compile let's press play and see what happens if i pick up the health zero health added and if i pick up the coin one coin added let me change the health so Health to add is it isn't zero and it doesn't seem like a like something went wrong. So now 20 health added and this one one coin was picked up. So that's how we would do a simple system of pickups that the it doesn't really matter if we add something new. If we in fact it will be easier to extend this class and add more behavior if we want i don't know maybe effects here we can add another sequence node and this is kind of driving me crazy so i'm gonna put it like this i'm gonna double click this wire so i can use this reroute nodes that's better that's a lot better and with this if i wanted to add another type of pickup then i just need to create a base a child blueprint excuse me then add the action the the pickup will do in my interface and then just call it in the pickup function that we can override from each child blueprint so that would be it hope hopefully this was really useful to you guys and girls and also if you have any idea to give these pickups like more features then be sure to leave it in the comments below as I mentioned before, we have some courses in our um, webpage called bolt.unfgames.com. There will probably be a link in the description below. 
there are free content and also more in-depth um, theory about blueprints, code, probably art also. But we're slowly building our courses so we can provide better information that maybe in a YouTube video could be too much to add or to talk about. So take care guys and girls and keep game developing or keep using Unreal. You will have fun. See you in the next one.